G'day. What we've done today is we've invited the media down to the banks of the Tamo River, which all Launcestonians love, and we've shown them just how much rubbish, how much litter is lying around. Not just on the, uh, the edges of the river system here, getting caught in all the reeds and all the trees, but down on the mud flats and around the, uh, around the pipe, the stormwater drain, which of course washes a lot of this stuff from the streets where it's thrown out the window, into waterways and most of this is going to be deposited in the ocean. This will break down into thousands of pieces like all plastic and these bottle caps of which I guarantee you there's probably a hundred thousand just in this area around here um, will find their way or potentially can find their way into the stomachs of seabirds like albatrosses and shearwaters. There's a lot of evidence now that it's causing starvation, strangulation and of course plastic is toxic to marine life. Well there's a simple solution. If this was worth money 10 cents a bottle, it would be valuable to someone. Someone would pick this up, they'd take it to a recycling depot, they'd get paid for it, and then we have a solution for our plastic pollution. Now, I was in South Australia yesterday in the Northern Territory the day before that, and I guarantee you would not find any of these bottles anywhere like you've seen down here today, because they're worth something to someone. Market-based instruments work. Now, why don't we have a solution all around the country if it works so well in South Australia. And by the way, South Australia is now boasting an 84% recycle rate for beverage containers because their system works so well. Why don't we have a nationwide system cash for containers? The key problem in my opinion is that beverage companies who make these bottles do not want to see a national cash for containers scheme. They see a more efficient solution in a national packaging covenant. There's no evidence at all that that's ever going to work. Most of this rubbish is here because it's consumed outside the home. It's great to have curbside recycling where you know we put our stuff after we use it in the home, but unfortunately a lot of the trash that damages our ecosystems is consumed outside the home. It's that sort of packaging that causes the problem. Container deposit schemes have evolved all around the world to solve that problem. So I don't want to see a few powerful companies getting in the way of a national solution, which I also believe can be rolled out very efficiently and very in a very cost-effective manner if it's done the right way. And yesterday's Senate inquiry uh, in Adelaide, which the Greens and Nick Xenophon helped get up, um, explored the problems with existing schemes and how we could do them better. And I've got absolutely no doubt this scheme is so popular and it works so well, we will get a national scheme in Australia. We need your support. We need you to get behind the Greens and other political parties that support a container deposit scheme or a cash for container schemes. And we need to keep pushing politicians and other decision makers at, at local government, state government and federal government level. So get involved in a solution to our plastic pollution.